so I just finished it. And I will say that I like them. Um, are they going to be my go-to markers? No. Uh, are they really good markers? I think that they are. I think for, I'm sure the price that w they were bought for and um, the quality of them, the ink, they're very saturated. They're very high pigmented. Um, I really think that they're super vibrant for the colors that are supposed to be vibrant. Like the purple is really vibrant. The orange, the yellow, the uh, pink. Um, the fuchsia color, the geranium, they're very bright, brightly colored, and I think that they're a really good starting pack. Um, I will probably use them again for maybe traveling or a uh, coloring page or just something really simple like My Little Mermaid Boy. Um, for larger, more in-depth pieces, I'll probably stick to my Copics, uh, but what I did do here was I tried to use all of the colors and I think I did. Um, I used the turquoise, I used the eggshell, the, I mean sorry, the robin's egg, I used the cloud for some light shading, I used slate for some darker shading, I have violet, geranium, uh, dawn sky, I used, did I not use dawn sky? I might have not used dawn sky, but I used lemon, uh, dragon fruit, lime twist, tangerine, and fern. So I think I used everything except for Dawn Sky. I thought I used all of them, but whatever. I mean, for 11 out of the 12 markers, it's not, uh, that's not bad. And I really do like it. I think he's really cute. Um, you know what I can do? I can use his Dawn Sky right now for little, oops, little pinks in the eye. There we go. Eh. Um, but I think overall I, I like them. I will definitely use them again for smaller projects um, or coloring pages like I said. Uh, so I think they are a good buy. Um, let me actually go on AC Moore's website. Um, I definitely know that they told me that um, they were purchased at AC Moore. Uh, so, Nicole, if you were watching this, it's funny because it's my uh, my cousin-in-law, uh, Nicole, bought me these for my birthday and I thought it was funny that they're by Nicole. Uh, so, Nicole, if you're watching this, thank you for the markers and I do like them. See, I use them. Uh, where is search? There we go. Uh, Premiere. Yarn is coming up. For some reason they're not coming up on the AC Moore website. Let me just do a Google search. Oops. They are not coming up on Google either. Are they made up markers? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay, well this is from eBay and it's $10 for the 12 pack, which I definitely think is pretty good. <clears throat> so like I said, it's the same exact box that I have here. They're $10 on eBay. So it looks like a bunch of other um, Competitive prices are around the same, $10, $12, uh, $10.50. So for $10 for the pack of 12 markers, I think is a really good, uh, so it'd be definitely good for somebody who's just starting out with markers or somebody who is younger in age. Um, I wouldn't say that they are artist quality or like professional quality, but they're definitely a good marker to start out with or just to play around with, with um, like I said, coloring these would be good for like coloring pages or like coloring books. Um, the only downfall or the con that I see is that there aren't skin tones in this pack. Um, I don't know if there are other packs of them or if you can buy them in open sale, uh, but a quick Google search will probably answer that question. Uh, but yeah, I like them. I 
will definitely use them again for small projects. And if you do like my Mermaid Boy, I think I'm going to digitalize him, um, or at least clean him up in Photoshop and put him up on my Redbubble as at least the sticker. I think he would be super cute as a sticker. Uh, but then again, if I digitalize him, I might hit, might add tattoos all over him, or like little like sea themed tattoos. It would be cute. Maybe like some little fish or water or bubbles or something. Uh, but yeah, I think for a quick like 15 minute drawing, a uh, 20 minute drawing, it wasn't bad. But yeah, so if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. If you are new to my channel and would like to see more videos like this of either hauls or of um, reviews, I do a lot of speed paints. Um, I recently just got an iPad and an Apple Pencil, so I have a lot of speed paints as far as digital work. I'm um, hoping to do a review on the iPad and iPencil as soon as I get a little bit more comfortable with giving my opinion on it and some pros and cons on that. I am using the iPad strictly for drawing, so I don't have... I'm not going to do like a full review of like, hey, I think the iPad is great for, you know, browsing the internet and, you know, photos and stuff like that. I I wanted it specifically for drawing. It's a new um, aspect of my art career that I want to get into. It's more digital, digitalizing and digital drawings. Um, so look out for that in the near future. And yeah, I'm going to put... Um, a link to where you can purchase these markers as well as a link where you can purchase the paper which I'm, again like I said if you want to look at my haul not my haul video my follow me around video um, uh, you can see me purchase them and my Michael's follow me around that I will also post the link in that uh, description box so yeah like I said please if you do enjoy these just please subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell button um, to be notified for when I upload I'm gonna try to upload at least once a week going forward now that I have a new camera set up and um, again like I said the iPad so it just makes it a lot easier I can draw on um, the train to and from work and on weekends if I go out uh, so it automatically records whatever I'm drawing um, yeah so thank you for stopping by and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!